Much games. <laughs> All right, we're almost there. Where? In the mall shop? <laughs> Don't you guys ever think of anything else? Sure, like sometimes we think of breakfast. Or lunch. Yeah, lunch. <laughs> so what's the story this time? My old neighborhood librarian, Mr. Dinsdale, has just been put in charge of the Hambridge University Library. But it seems the library is full of ghosts. Hello? Ghosts? A haunted library? Hmm, interesting. Velma Dinkley, you're late. And speaking of late, you still owe a $2 late charge on the Junior Detective Handbook. But that was in the fourth grade. <clears throat> we'll solve this matter later, Miss Dinkley. Now, it seems that you and your friends have made quite a name for yourselves dealing with ghouls and ghosts. We always get our monster. Or man in a monster suit, as it usually turns out. Is that so? Jeepers, or maybe not. Okay, gang, you know the drill. Let's split up and get to the bottom of this mystery. Shaggy, you and Scooby check out the basement. Hey, like why do we always get the basement? Basement? Uh-uh. Like, no way! There's always freaky stuff in basements! Yeah! I'm so sorry, but we've lost the key to the basement. See? We can't go! There's no key! Allow me to introduce Walter Peabody, my assistant. He's in charge of restoring old books. Nice to meet you, Mr. Peabody. The pleasure is all mine. A missing key? Let's keep an eye out for it, guys. Yeah, well, you can look out for keys. We're looking out for ghosts. Well. Right. You go look around, Scoob. I'll wait here. <laughs> what? You're a coward. A coward? Me? Why, I resent that. I have sensitive nerves. <laughs> Would a coward boldly go through that door over there? Look, Scoob, a camera. Want to take a picture to keep as a souvenir? Yeah. Look, costumes! Hey, 
maybe we can put these on to confuse the ghosts. You look good, Scoob. Who to, Raggy? Raggy, a clue. Like you're right, Scoob. This looks like a clue. We should find Velma and show it to her. Great! You found a clue! Remember, at any time you can look at all your clues in this episode file. Get enough clues and you'll unlock special bonuses too! I'm sure there's a logical explanation for these hauntings. Wow! This room is a mess! Well, maybe we can find some food on top of these crates. <laughs> Raggy, look! Is it a cookbook? Oh, it's a clue! In the way. Hey Scoob, maybe you can squeeze under those tables and push the cart from the other side. Now Good job, Scooby old pal. Now try to push those carts out of the way. there was some food around here somewhere. Come on, let's find all those ingredients and make a super duper triple decker sandwich. Gooby dooby doo. <laughs> Scoob, like I was so scared. I almost lost my appetite. Almost. <laughs> I found something! Good job, Scoob! <laughs> What's wrong, Scooby? Oh no! G -g 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 ghosts What do we do, Aggie? Try to make as little noise as possible! <laughs> <laughs> we made it, Scoob! We got past the ghosts! We're safe! We're safe? Boom. Almost got spotted by another one of those ghosts.
Is it just me, or did it walk kind of funny? The roast? The rock? <laughs> well, I think we found a way into the basement. Who? Oh. Like this must be the old library that old Mr. Peabody was talking about. Yikes! It's a clue. Thanks. Like that book just gobbled up the ghost like it was an eggplant and marshmallow sandwich. <laughs> 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 like, hey, Scoob, let's show this ghost goblin book to the others. Oh, we do. Like, wait. There go, Scoob. Like, what are you doing here? Shaggy? Scooby? Is that you? I can't see anything without my glasses. I was following a rather strange-looking ghost when I tripped over a book and lost them. Can you help me find them, please? You're a rose. Yeah, like boo, man. Here you go, Velma. Thanks, Shaggy. Hey, what's this? It's a groovy old book me and Scoob found. And like when I say ghosts are into this book, I mean ghosts are into this book. <laughs> From the looks of it, I'd say it's a medieval grimoire. Hmm, it's missing a few pages. Interesting. There seems to be some instructions on how to capture spirits. 
It says here that you need to have the right page to capture the right kind of creature. Right now, there's only one page, the ghost page. All the pages for other monsters are missing. The more pages we can find, the more kinds of enemies we can gobble up. But it says here you need to charge up the book with magical wisps first. Like how do we do that? Just walk up to them. Or, if you can't reach them, open the Tome of Doom and they'll be drawn to it, as long as you face them. Okay, so like how do we capture the ghosts? It says here that if a ghost passes in front of the open Tome of Doom, it will automatically get hooked. Once you've got it, you have to reel the enemy into the book by bringing its energy down. Woody! Hey guys, try catching the ghosts over there. Be careful though, if you get attacked, the ghost might break free.
it's a clue, a clue!
guys. We were looking for you. Did you find any clues? Boy, did we ever, Fred. Like, check out this groovy old book. Velma says it's a grimoire. Yeah, a grimoire. That's grimoire. This particular one is quite rare and infamous. It's known as the Tome of Doom. Tome of Doom? Here, Scoob, you hold it. You hold it. No way you hold it. The odd thing is that we already have a Tome of Doom right over there. Hmm. One of them must be fake. Interesting. If only we had some more clues to go on. Cut it out, you two. Hey, what are these? Oh, just some paper Scooby found. What are they, Velma? Hmm. Looks like receipts from a bookbinder's shop. <laughs> Zoinks! Look up there! It's that ghost again! Come on, gang. Let's try to capture him. Shag, you and Scooby head up the balcony in case he doubles back. Like if Freddy wants to go chasing after Ghost, that's fine by me. We'll just stay here and uh, look at pictures of food. Uh, hey, a cookbook. <laughs> Scooby Doo! Raggy! Hello! <laughs> Way to go, guys. But why is the ghost still here? Shouldn't your magic book have gobbled him up? Beats me, Daphne. I think it's busted. I don't think so, Shaggy. I think this ghost didn't get sucked into the book because he's not really a ghost at all. Is that so? In that case, let's see who the ghost really is. Walter, Walter Peabody? Peabody? 
I'm quite disappointed. Well, I figured it out when Shaggy showed us that receipt from the bookbinders. Peabody, being responsible for book restorations, didn't want anyone to find out that he had a fake Tome of Doom made while he kept the real one for himself. And I would have gotten away with it too if it hadn't been for you meddling kids and your pesky dog. But why would he do such a thing? And why did he rip pages out of the real Tome of Doom? That I don't know. Yet. Well, perhaps I could hire Mystery Inc. to find out about those missing pages. That would be great, Mr. Dinsdale. But we have another assignment to take care of first. At the Milton Brothers Movie Studio. Meanwhile, I could look the Tome of Doom over and try and find out why Peabody tried to steal it. Very well. As long as you don't bring it back late. <laughs> So guys, I'd say we did a pretty good job of solving this mystery, don't you think? Yeah, but that Dinsdale is one creepy crawly. <laughs> like he's scarier than a ghost. Camera, action! Come back! That was a great shot! Stay in the frame. A bit more to the left. That's it! Beautiful! Jeepers! Can you believe we're going to the Milton Brothers movie lot? Do you think we'll see any movie stars, Velma? Velma, are you still in that book? What? Oh, <laughs> sorry. It's just that I haven't read anything as fascinating since the hidden history of Atlantis. It explains how to capture supernatural critters. Look, even Shaggy and Scooby find it gripping. Like any book that has ghosts on the run is all right by me. <laughs> uh, guys, you can let go now. Uh-uh, not on your life. Oh, brother. All right, I'm leaving. You know where to reach me if you change your mind. I'll never sell to you, Zabrinsky! Sorry, kids. Visits are off today. <sighs> and forever. Don't worry. My brother Doug's just a little, uh, <whistles> down. Our studio's haunted. Well, don't you worry, sir. We're Mystery Inc. And we'll get rid of your ghost problem in no time. Mr. Milton, I'm a big fan of your films. My favorite is Gone with the Tin Roof. Can I get your autograph? Oh, why, sure. You know, I was almost nominated for Best Director on that one. Oh, this is fantastic. Earl, did you call these kids? Right-o, Daddy-o. I heard about these cats from Jimmy over at Sunshine Studios. Rats? Where? <laughs> Studio A is where it all started. Though I fear it has spread to the entire lot by now. What about that man we saw when we arrived? Oh, that's Robert Zabrinsky from Greenwood Development. He's been trying to buy the studio from us. Okay, here's the plan. Scooby and Shaggy, you scout Studio A. Daphne and I will look for clues in Studio B. 
and I'll check out the rest of the lot with the Milton brothers. Like what about the cafeteria? <laughs> we don't have a cafeteria. We use caterers. I think there's some food left inside the... Ah! This wall. What is it? Beats me. Looks like some kind of switch with a number over it. Oh, it 
frog braggy.
careful, Scoob! <laughs> Scooby-Doo! Are you alright? No, I'm hungry! A graveyard! D -d 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 don't worry, Scoob! L -l -l like it's only a movie set! <laughs> That's a feisty one! going down. Hey! Like this is some kind of electrical room. <laughs> and that sounds like one nasty shock over there. <laughs> Oh, it's a clue, a clue! Hey! Scooby found a clue!
Hey there. Huh? Shaggy, did you see that walking suit of armor? See it? Like it snatched up Scooby. We gotta save him. Great. I'll catch it all on film. <laughs> yeah, like if it doesn't catch us first. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, now look nervous. Like I am nervous. Natural. Like thanks. Oops. Ooh, my brother's not gonna like this. Mushrooms, mommy. You're doing great. Do it again with feeling. Okay, now look nervous. Like, I am nervous. Like it's broken. Hey, it's missing a fuse and a gear. This motor is out of order, man.
the valve handle missing here?
Okay, now look scared. Like, I am scared. Okay, now look scared. Like, I am scared. Okay, now look scared. Like, I am scared. Like piece of cake. Uh-oh, like I'm getting that sinking feeling. Zoinks, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to wake you up. Uh, can I get you a coffee or something? Or maybe not. Okay, now look nervous. Like, I am nervous. Okay. Like, I've got one. Oh, man, you're a natural. Like, thanks. Okay, that looks scared. Yeah! I don't need to get all messed up about this. Okay, now look nervous. Like I know. Okay, now look nervous. Like I am nervous. Okay, now look nervous. Like, I am nervous. Okay, now look nervous. Like, I am nervous. <laughs> okay, now look nervous. I am nervous. Oh man, you're a natural. Like thanks.
Go, Scoob. Ah, that's so touching. Now go find my key. Shaggy, look out! Scoob, I bet you he won't be showing his face around here anytime soon. <laughs> Zoinks! Well, will you look at that? Like I think we just found ourselves a clue.
like you want to go first. Excellent. Okay, now look scared. Like, I am scared. Okay, now look nervous. Like, I am nervous. Okay, now look nervous. Like, I am nervous. <laughs> Here you go, Daphne. Finally. You're welcome. <laughs> Hey, you did it! Like, of course! Yeah, of course! Okay, now let's go find the others. A good idea, I'll go with you. Meanwhile, you can take care of those mummies. M -m 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 mummies What's he talking about? Yikes! <laughs> You're not 
I told them all about your cool rescue skills. Don't worry, it's all in here. Real dynamite stuff. So, did you two find any clues? Way to go, guys. At least we know there's someone inside that armor. Meanwhile, Doug has disappeared. Hmm, that's interesting. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you suggesting? I'm not suggesting anything. What else did you find? Well, we did find more pages from the Tome of Doom. Chinkies! Shaggy, Scooby, do you guys realize what this means? Like it means we're starving. <laughs> we're so hungry, we're down to eating props. <laughs> no, it means that there's a link to the library case. Jeepers! Don't worry, gang, I've got a plan. Okay, let's run through this one more time. You guys find the knight and trick him into running after you. Then I'll open the drawbridge and he'll follow you into the sci-fi set. Daphne, Velma, and Earl will take it from there. Any questions? Yeah, do we have to? <laughs> Why are you two scared? This time you know that it's a fake monster. And like that's supposed to make me less scared? Who goes running around in a suit of armor? <laughs> Come on, guys, you'll do fine. Faster, Scoob! He's right behind us! Why doesn't he ever get tired? Raggy, the ridge. Aw oh, man, the bridge is still up. Hmm. Prepare for defeat. <laughs> Sonics, keep running, Scoob! I'm pretty sure it's this one. You can run, but you cannot hide. Run, Raggy! One more lap! Come hither! Come run, Scooby! Run! Run faster, Scoob! Run, Raggy! 
See who's under that helmet or er, box. Robert Zabrinsky. I should have known that cat was up to no good. Walter Peabody must have sent him pages from the Tome of Doom to scare away your cast and crew. Knowing that this would force you to sell. And I would have gotten away with it too if it hadn't been for you meddling kids and your pesky dog. How did you figure it out? Well, Shaggy and Scooby's clues steered us in the right direction, but the real clincher was the helmet. Its oversized shape was perfect for the image-conscious Zabrinsky, who could wear it without messing up his impeccable hair. But what about my bro? I'm over here! Zabrinsky ambushed me and wrapped me in these... You scoundrel! Have you any idea how much these mummy costumes cost? That was some great detective work. Even better than in the Big Nap or Death on the Rhine. Say, have any of you ever thought of being in pictures? You know, you'd make a great damsel in distress. Well, now that you mention it... What about me? Uh, well, we always need riders. And what about us? Like, can we do the catering? <laughs> Actually, I had something better in mind. And action! <laughs> like, isn't this the best of happy endings, Scoob, old pal? Scooby dooby doo! Stay where you are and await further instructions. Zabrinsky's been caught. The fool! I always knew he was the weak link. Any news from Peabody? As far as I know, he hasn't told the police anything. Then we move on with the plan. Where are we off to now, Freddy? The Gold Mountain Western Theme Park. Groovy! You hear that, Scoob? Before you know it, we'll be eating Western chili and Western barbecue. Western omelets? Western omelets? Sure thing, pal. <laughs> it turns out that the same creepy guy who was trying to buy the Milton Brothers movie studio was also trying to buy Gold Mountain. Let me guess, their property is also being haunted by monsters? Yep. Someone there must have pages from the Tome of Doom as well. More monsters? Well, their plan worked. I'm scared. Let's go back. Uh -huh. Well, if you chicken out, that means no Western-style barbecue. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Chicken, chicken barbecue. barbecue. <laughs> Hi. 
Howdy, I'm Johnny Chenaya Patra, and I want to personally welcome y'all to Gourd Mountain. Jeepers, this is some ghost town you have here, Mr. Chenaya Patra. Dad, blast it! This ain't supposed to be no darn ghost town! It's supposed to be a rustle and bustle and western theme park. Can I help it if all the darn monsters keep scaring away the folks? Don't worry, sir. We'll get rid of all your ghostly problems. I'd be much obliged, Padna. See, I put all of my life savings into this doggone place. What about your employees? They are all gone except for one. Oh, here she comes. Allow me to introduce my only faithful employee, Mindy Stiles. She plays bit parts in the Wild West show, as well as being security chief, accountant, marketing manager, and the best darn chef this side of the Rio Grande. Like did he say, chef? Scoob, old pal, I think I'm in love. <laughs> uh, Mr. Chenaya Patra, I need you to sign some insurance papers. Ugh, blasted paperwork. Well, y'all just feel free to explore. All right, guys. We'll split up and look for clues. Shaggy, Scooby, you investigate the hotel. Hotel? Know what that means, Scoob? Room service! <laughs> For me! All for you? <laughs> like this buffet room ain't big enough for the both of us, Scoob. It's time for a chow down showdown. Like ready, set, go! Like every mystery should be this fulfilling. <laughs> Check it out, there's some barbecue sauce left. I'll uh, race you to it, old pal. Raggy? Again, go back to your friends. Leave me alone, you stupid dog. Just leave me alone. Away from me! Are we 
to see you. Like what happened, Fred? I was investigating the cell when a mysterious woman locked the door behind me. Daphne went to find Mr. Chenaya Patra, but she's been gone for a while now. Oh boy, how can we get you out? There's a hole in the wall over there, but something's blocking it from the other side. Well, we'll be ready. Cell. There's another one in there, but I couldn't quite reach it. All right, I'll go look for Daphne. <laughs> hey, looks like someone was trying to rob that safe. I wonder what's inside. Scooby snacks? Scooby snacks? Of course! We gotta find a way to open it! Look like who's laughing now! 
Minecart, Scoob. This must be some kind of ride. Hmm. Scoob, do you smell what I'm smelling? Roasted chicken with rocklet sauce and anchovies. <laughs> Here, I'll go first. Me first. No, me. <laughs> <laughs>
surveillance cameras in the Wild West? Hey, Scooby found a clue. I didn't know they had surveillance cameras in the Wild West. Rook, Raggy. Ha, like you're totally wigging out, Scoob. You think this is a clue, Scooby? Hey, there's a key inside.
Devils just wouldn't go away. Speaking of clues, I think Scoob and I found some. We found this and some costumes in the school. Good work. Let's go find the others in front of the hotel. There's a shortcut through one of the train cars. <laughs> Oh! 
We did it, Scoob! Yeah, good job, guys. Way to... Uh, go. Oh, you saved me. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Let's see who's under that wig. Mindy Styles. Oh, Mindy, how could you? I became suspicious when Shaggy told me about the costumes hidden in the school. Going back there, I found papers from Greenwood Development. Now, who could be using these costumes? Why, who else than the last remaining employee? You mean she's the one who lured us with all that delicious food? <laughs> Please, don't take it personally. I had no choice. And to think she would have gotten away with it if it hadn't been for you young city slickers. All right, like you know what that means, Scoob, old pal. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> sure you... Oh, shucks. Mindy's got the key to the food locker. What? <laughs> no, wait, stop! Like, stop the car! Hey, come back! Again, why we're driving through a scary bayou in the middle of the night? Our friends at Greenwood Development have just bought this bayou after all the people who lived here ran away. Guess why? Scary <laughs> monsters? That's right, Scooby-Doo. It seems there have been sightings of walking dead around here. Oh, like at least they're not the running dead. <laughs> Looks like someone wanted to point something at a precise location in the sky. A satellite, maybe? <laughs> I hope they get the cooking channel. Are you sure this is the place? It looks abandoned. And creepy. Like ultra mega creepy. Rupert duper creepy. So, what now? Let's split up and look for clues. Like I knew he'd say that. We do.
The water! That's no good, Scoob. The water's not high enough. We need to close the second gate. How? Like we have to find a way to cross the water to the other side.
I don't think so. Groovy! I found a clue! Like a clue in the bayou! Groovy! for your own safety, miss. Intruders in the perimeter. Like run, Scoob! One of them zombies. Huh. Must have gotten loose. Hi there. You're a fine looking doggy. Rog? Where? 
Are you looking for someone, dog? What we'll say we go find them? <laughs> you go ahead, dog. I'll go another way. <laughs> been breached.
dog. Them's treacherous. Oh, alligator! <laughs> Your butter's in a mighty tight spot. Tell you what, you go and create a diversion, and I let him out of that zombie cage. What? Don't tell me you're a scaredy cat. Here, I'll give you a nice doggy biscuit if you do it. Cody's neck. We're okay. Now go and keep them soldier fellers away from that there cage. I suggest you come out now. 
The zombies! They're escaping! Why, thanks for saving me. My name's Billy Bob, sir. Now, don't worry, I got me a getaway vehicle just round the bend. A getaway vehicle? More like a giveaway vehicle. Thank <laughs> you. 
got a heart. <laughs> I used to live on a farm here, but then them walking dead fellers started showing up, so I had to vacate them premises. But it'll take more than zombies or them Greenwood suits to make me go. Did you say Greenwood? Sure did. Them's the fellers who bought this land. They also be catching them zombies and sending them away in big old army trucks. Anyone for some sandwiches? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone here? Guys, I finally found you. This is bad. Zombies have attacked the army trucks and Daphne and Fred are in danger. But like we haven't found the Tome of Doom page for zombies yet. You mean like this one? Like exactly like this one. I found it in one of them trucks. Great. Let's go save the others. Mm. Help! Mm. Get us out of here. So those zombies are more than you can handle, huh? What the? Who the heck are you? We're Mystery Inc. Private Shaggy? That's me! Get these zombies out of my sight! Yikes! Like 
Thanks, son. You took care of those critters like a real trooper. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to get these trespassers to the local authorities. What? Like, you can't do that. Are you questioning my orders? Give me 20 on the double. You too, mister. I'm afraid you've got it all wrong, sir. What? We're investigators. Sir, why is the army trying to cover up a creepy case of zombies? Hold your horses, ma'am. The military ain't involved in this at all. Master Sergeant Jeremy Rhodes, retired from the service. Me and my old buddies were hired by Greenwood Development to clear out this area before it was sold to Sherman Tech. Three? Jinkies. According to my notes, Greenwood Development is owned by Sherman Tech. What? So they've been selling land to themselves. After scaring away the owners. Now wait just one minute. Are you saying there's foul play involved? You bet. And we've got the proof. Well, I'll be. All right. Come over here. Six. We bring the zombies here. Sherman Tech headquarters? Now you do me a favor. Get those Greenwood lowlifes for me. Will do. Come on, gang. Let's go. Good luck, y'all. Bye, Willie really, Rob. Yeah, like, bye. Did I tell you to stop, soldiers? Give me another 20, or I'll have you put on latrine duty. One. <laughs>that Sherman Tech is behind all of this, but why? According to my research, Sherman Tech is using all of that land to build giant antennas. I wonder what they could be for. Well, there's only one place we'll find the answer to that. Sherman Tech headquarters. I've already called Sherman Tech and arranged for us to get on a tour of their facilities. While Freddie Daphne and I are taking the tour, Shaggy and Scooby will sneak off and look for- The Ravateria? No, clues. Specifically, clues about antennas. Like there could be antennas in the cafeteria. <laughs> oh, brother. Welcome to Sherman Tech. Do you think we'll be able to meet Mr. Sherman? Uh, Mr. Sherman is a busy man. No, no, not that busy. Mr. Sherman, it's an honor. May I introduce my chief scientific officer, Selena Drake? We're currently working on some exciting new technology. Perhaps you'd like to see it. Of course! Especially if it involves low-frequency electromagnetic waves. Yes, they're our favorites. <clears throat> well, why don't we start? All right, you two. Now try to find as many clues as you can. sound like a lab rat. I found a clue! Is that Better a show it to them? I hardly recognized you! <laughs> How's it going? Great! Is that 
on you, Scoob. I hardly recognized you. <laughs> I believe Dr. Drake was looking for you, sir. Dr. Drake? We're Have on nice our way. Who? Who? Like I don't feel any more secure. I found something. Good job, Scoob. Scoob. I hardly recognized you. <laughs> to me, Scoob. They have? Perfect. No, let them go on. We'll take care of it. As we speak, your friends are bringing the Tome of Doom back to its rightful owner. Me. <laughs> Zoinks! Like, I guess we can only go forward now. Yeah, forward.
Why, come back quickly, Scoob, and bring me back a sandwich, would you?
Shaggy Robot! Flight mission accomplished, Scoob! Who's there? Uh -oh. You! Stay right there! Look! Daphne! Fred! Velma! Boy, are we glad to see you guys! Guys? I'm afraid they can't hear you. Huh? Huh? They're under our control now. Like, what are you saying? My greatest invention. Behold! A mind-altering alpha wave modulator. Uh, it's a mind control device. Oh! <laughs> Antenna have been placed throughout the country. Soon we will use them to make everyone buy our products. We'll destroy the competition. Selena, how about a demonstration for our new friends? Delighted to. Like it's all right. <laughs> really, like we already had some alpha waves on the way over. Hey, right, Scoob? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Selena, what's going on? I don't understand. Their simple minds must be immune somehow. It doesn't matter. Meddling kids, rid us of these fools. <laughs> Come on, Scoob. We've got to find a way to turn off that machine. by that Sherman guy. So, the giant antennas were for amplifying alpha wave modulations. Or in layman's terms, mind control. Ingenious. Enough! Seize them! No. You'll rue the day you messed with... What did you say? I said no. Just who do you think you are? Mr. Mr. Dinsdale? Dinsdale? That special agent Dinsdale, if you don't mind. Jinkies! All this time I thought you were just my local librarian. What, I can't have a second job? <laughs> Travis Sherman, you are under arrest for fraud, conspiracy, and book tampering. I don't understand. Like, is the book overdue? <laughs> it's quite simple, you guys. Agent Dinsdale was investigating the peculiar land acquisitions at Greenwood Development, but he couldn't get a good lead. So he let us have a go at it, and kept tabs on us the whole time. Sharp as ever, Miss Dinkley. I'm sorry I had to lead you on like this, but Sherman was just too big to touch without solid evidence. 
And I would have gotten away with it, too, if it hadn't been Sherman, for you. you fool! You should have let me deal with those kids when I had the chance! <gasps> Don't let her get away! Let's see how you meddling kids handle this!
design of Selena Drake? There she is, up on the roof. <laughs> Let it go, Selena. It's over. My dear Travis, did you really believe I got you into this in order to sell VCRs? There's only one goal worthy of my genius. With the Alpha Wave Modulator, I shall rule the world! <laughs> She's completely mad! Well, duh. <laughs> Prepare to face the Tome of Doom's most powerful spirit. Oh, King of Fire, share my vengeance! Like that one. 
Kids. Shaggy, Scooby, I want to thank you both for your help. We couldn't have done it without you. Like it wasn't easy, you know. We've been attacked by ghosts, shadows, mummies, zombies. Aw. Oh. Would some Scooby snacks make it all better? Scooby, Scooby snacks! snacks! How did you... I did my homework. Hey! What gives? Hmm, using the Tome of Doom to snatch away snacks. Now that's one for the books. Dooby dooby doo! Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 